So I have a cute little living room that I want to make this RH dupe of a concrete coffee table. So I made it out of wood, trying to save some money, maybe some concrete board. And just cut it to size, screwed it in, and then coated it with some concrete. So first thing I had to do was measure out the size that I wanted it, and I wanted it shorter than that. Whoa, I just spoke. But I wanted it shorter than that table, so I wrote it down on my cute little napkin. I wanted it probably about the same width, but I wanted it a lot longer. So the idea is something like that, and those were my dimensions, I, so I wrote out like each side, how big I needed each side, wrote a little to-do list, and took it over to Lowe's. So I think I'm just going to use this MDF particle board. It's fairly cheap, should hold together, and got some help to cut it. My boy John helped cut it, which is nice because I don't have a table saw, so I just got all the pieces that I needed cut out of one board, and got it in my car. Took it back home, and cleared off the table, and when I put it down, I realized that's not as long as I thought it was or maybe I didn't measure it right I think I didn't measure it. I think I wanted 45 not 35 so went back cut it again and then I got those concrete the little sheets the things they put under like tile when you're doing tile on the wall and it was too big for my car so I went and bought a razor blade while I was there to cut it I should have bought this scoring knife that you're supposed to use because it didn't work super well but by the end of getting all five boards or I think there's four I got pretty good at it. Perfect, which will help out later. So, awesome. With that new one, I went and checked and made sure that it was the size I wanted, and we're good. That cute little ruby. So, I just took that out to the backyard. I'm gonna go make it on my deck. And, perfect. So first thing is I just wanted to get the sides together, so I added some glue. So that's gonna do most of the holding and I got these little joists joints joints sure joints screwed them in it's kind of a pain but I finally got them screwed in and then when I got the third piece I realized that it wasn't like as square as I wanted it to be I didn't like those joints so I took them back and then also when I got back I didn't like that the sun was there so I changed where it was but yeah so I redid it and I got new joints sorry why does joint sound like such a weird word to me right now joint 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 but anyway, screwed them all in and we were good to go. And then I took this drill and wanted to make it nice and tight, but the drill was too small, so I had to redo it with a bigger drill bit. And yeah, screwed them in together with the joints and then also on the sides added in that one, two, three, four, fifth piece. And with this one, I didn't put the joints down first, I just screwed it in first, which I should have done for the first place. Made it way easier, but. So yeah, screwed it in first and then added the joints. Cause math. I don't know. But once I got that little box figured out, I guess put, yeah, like I said, then I added the joints. And then what did I do? After that I just added more glue. I feel like this whole piece is just like being held together by glue. Put glue on the top, and then put that top piece on. Or maybe that's the bottom piece. I think that's the bottom piece. So it had a little bit of gap in some spaces so I thought I'd like fill the gap with the cement this is just like a vinyl cement it's used to like do patches on top of concrete so you can do like thin layers and it shouldn't crack that's the idea but with that I took the old concrete board put it on top and then cut I guess toward the line on the bottom to match it up and then I had to go through it a couple different times not different times over a couple times to make it nice and thick so that I'd break where I cut it still kind of struggled and then I realized I should probably be doing that on the table. Like, I'll show you right here. So yeah, I scored a bunch of times. Then with it on the table right on the edge, I can kind of just bend it. And it broke right where I needed it to. Perfect. Screwed it on in. And now we just have to do that to all other sides. There's one, two, three, four, five sides. I'm going to do that too. So there's a lot of, like, lifting 
and cutting and scoring and breaking and my back hurts. I think I like messed it up at the gym and then realized that I kept on messing up every time I moved this stupid thing. Not stupid. It's really cool. I actually really like how it ended up. But anyways, screwed it on in and flipped it to the other side. Put it on, score it, break it, screw it in, break it. There you go. Now I screw it in and flip it. Put it on, score it, break it, screw it in, flip it. Oh, score it, break it, screw it in. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So with that, I just sanded it so that would be nice and even everywhere and give me a nice like base and then added in that concrete on top i did a really thin layer hoping that i could get away with that let it dry but then when i like came back and brushed it off you could just see the under layer of the board too much so then i had to do it again this time did a thicker layer let that sucker dry and then it started raining so I started panicking. I don't know what to do. Put some boards on to protect it. This project took me forever because it kept on like, one, I had to wait for it to dry and then other times it was just raining and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, took it off and sanded it on down. And this time it was thick. My buddy Drake came over. Ooh, just giving that, giving that box a nice feel. Pet? He was petting it. That was the word I was looking for. Ah, moments lost. Not a joke anymore. I missed my joke. So anyways, he helped me out, put on more layers on all the sides. And I kept on spraying with that water bottle to kind of keep it nice and moist. And also it was nice because he would help me flip it. And he had the good idea to like put stuff down to protect the deck. I didn't do that and I ended up getting concrete all over the deck. But alas. So, just kept on putting layers on all these things and letting it dry and then flipping it. Like, I had to wait for that edge to dry before I could flip it on top of itself so I could do the other side. Womp. 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 So, I did that one. And then again, let it dry. And then once it was dry, I could do the side opposite of the first one. Does that make sense? Sure. It was just like I had to wait a long time. So, I don't want to, like, mess up the side that I was like resting on maybe could have just done it like all from one side and not flipped every time that's probably what I would have done in the future but anyways so with that all done there was like cracks going on and so what I thought I would do is I think I was thinking I'd like whoa is that English I thought what would be best to do would to seal it with this concrete cure and seal so I put that on and then we're just going to do another layer on top to hopefully like go on top of the cracks and then also make the whole piece like cohesive. And that seal was like kind of glossy and I didn't like that so I tried to sand it down to see if that would help. It didn't really, it doesn't really matter because we're going to go over the top to, to fix the cracks and also make the whole piece look like one solid piece of concrete. So I did that and then we're just going to let it dry again. Maybe this took forever. Look at look at look at me go. Holy cow. So with nice and dry, I just put that sealer on top again. This time with a little roller. So I can do the entire piece. All sides of it. And then once that was dry, what did I do next? I don't know. I honestly can't remember. I'm I'm watching this as you guys are watching it. Um Oh yeah, I, I hit it with this matte chalk spray paint. That way to get rid of all the gloss. So I sprayed that all over, gave a nice coat of that. And when that was done, I added some chalk, chalk? Some white chalk to kind of give it a more, like, dry. Like I wanted it to look really dry and like kind of worn. And the, now the task to get it inside. So I moved my old one, asked my cute roommate River to help me bring it in because my back was killing me. Oh, that cute. Flipped on its end, and I was gonna put the bottom, I was gonna put felt on the bottom. So I just got a staple gun, staple that felt to it. And then cut off all the excess. Oh, nope, I'm still stapling. Now I'm cutting off the excess. Good job, Ryan. You're doing great. 
cut off the left, the right, and the bottom. And after that, I, I, I'm done. Cool. So with it all done, I just need to get a cute little centerpiece and kind of stage it. But before I did that, I wanted to wash off this deck because like I said, I got concrete all over it. And so I had a little power washer, took a shovel, and it just wasn't coming off at all. I think what I'm going to end up doing is actually just get a hot tub and put it in that corner and we'll call it good. Because by the time I even got to there, my power washer was kapoot. That thing was smoking. So if I were to do this again, I'd do a lot of things different, but before I show you that... Alright, so, huge thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys don't know what Squarespace is, you haven't seen any of my videos because I talk about them all the time because I love them. I've been using them for ever since I had needed a website. Yeah. Squarespace is your one-stop shop for all things website. So they have everything you could possibly need to sell anything you can imagine. So whether you want to sell like product, time, content, or story, they've got it for you. Well, so one thing I love is that Squarespace is always like updating and adding more things. So I didn't even know they had this app, which I'm gonna have to start using, which is a Squarespace Video Studio which makes it super easy to make beautiful product videos so that like that's gonna make things sell even easier. And then also you can see our brand, which is gonna automatically pull in like your logo and all this stuff from your website. Then all things Squarespace. One thing that I really love is they always have like beautiful templates, but then it's easily customizable so they can stay on brand, stay on brand and also with your voice. Then with that, you can share that anywhere. So that's what I love. And it can be easy as one, two, three, you create a website, then you can sell anything you want, market it so that it'll stand out and get in front of the eyes of all the people you want to see it. So you can actually hit the link in the description of this video and you can start that website today. Like I said, no credit card required. Or you can go to www.squarespace.com backslash schmood. And then when you do decide either launch it or buy a domain or whatever, remember the coupon code schmood to get 10% off your first purchase. Yep, so cool. So first off, I wouldn't build the box. I would get like a coffee table. So we're gonna get like that little mini coffee table as an example. And I'd cut out the wood that I needed to make it a like a cube. So for this one, I would just need a top and two sides. After I got my like big table all done, I saw this TikTok from Lone Fox. Shout out to that sweetheart, where he used uh, like drywall tape. So we're gonna use that instead. But it's not super sticky, so I thought if I coated it with like the acrylic spray paint first and then put it on, that would help it stick and adhere to it. Maybe double up on the spots where there were seams so I wouldn't get any cracks. And again, spray with the spray paint to make sure it stays in place because it's not super sticky. And then with that, you could just add the concrete right to it. Use something flat to level it and probably not lift it up a bunch of different times. It's just apply it from where it sits and also make sure that I have something underneath so I don't mess up my deck or whatever I'm working with underneath it and yeah just make sure it's all nice and coated from there I think you could just use Elmer's glue that'd be a lot cheaper than the concrete sealant and just use that in water and you can just roll that on there and that'll act as like a uh, kind of a sealer and also it will help hold the concrete together so then let that dry and then once it's dry just add another coat so sand it get it even whatever you want let that dry then sand it again if you want to get super super duper even and then last just add that chalk spray paint the clear coat matte spray paint sand it again to your liking and with that boop, you have a cute little concrete table Super easy, super affordable, not gonna cost you $1,400. I think you get that done in like maybe a hundred bucks, maybe probably less if you get like a free table. You can find donor tables all over the place. Here's the real one. It was cracking already, so I'm gonna have to like fix that. If I were to use that mesh tape along the edges, I feel like that would have fixed the cracks. But overall, I'm super stoked with, with how it looked and how it turned out and how it fills the space, honestly. I feel like it, um, looks really good in that that living room and kind of gives the area like I don't know something sturdy
Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, if you want to be a pie and uh, get your name on my video here at the end, just go to my website.